now we get into the APA format write-up for discriminant analysis. And for this particular research question, it reads, a discriminant analysis was conducted to determine whether four predictors, age at motherhood, I'm sorry, that should have been three predictors, age at motherhood, years of education, and month of last prenatal visit could predict if a mother would complete a three-shot newborn vaccination series. The overall Wilkes Lambda was significant, and here we have Lambda equaling 0.3. Um, 5.9, our chi-square with 9 degrees of freedom, and sample size of 400 equaled 405.52, which was significant, less than 0 0.001, indicating that the overall, indicating that overall, the predictors differentiated among the four newborn vaccination shot groups. Um, this is where, this is a large, this is a big difference between discriminant analysis and multinomial logistic regression. With multinomial logistic regression, we wouldn't see so with discriminant analysis, we're just looking to see if these predictors can predict the outcome. Uh, no mathematical calculations uh, required here. And then, of course, we go on with the Wilkes Sounder for the second function is also significant, um, indicating that the overall predictors differentiate among the four newborn vaccination shot groups after parceling out the effects of the first discriminant function. And then when we talk about the third, additionally, the residual Wilkes Sounder was not significant. Um, indicating that the overall predictors did not differentiate among the four newborn vaccination group shots after parsing out the effects of the first and second. So, and then we move into multinomial logistic regression. I'm gonna go a little bit quicker here. Uh, using the same data set, we'll go into SPSS, analyze regression, and then we go to multinomial logistic. And here we'll put vaccine shots into the dependent box. Now factors, in the factors box, um, we'll put our categorical, which is uh, ethnicity. And in the covariance box, we put our scales, which are age, education, month of last prenatal visit. We have to actually um, give multinomial logistic regression. We have to tell it which is going to be the reference category. And this is important because the reference category is where the mathematical calculations are based off of. In this particular um, time, I'm going to use the last category as our reference category. And then we're going to go ahead and click OK. Here we get um, our first output is going to be our model fitting output, and we can see that the uh, this is the way that the mathematical equation actually fits, and we can see that it is significant. That the minus two log likelihood ratio is 714, and then our sig value at the far right column is less than 0 0.001. We look at our pseudo r squared, and I prefer to use the Nalkirky. Um, Nalkirky is on a scale of zero to one. Uh, Cox and Snell is on a scale, I believe it's like 0 to 0.75. Um, essentially, the higher the value of the Nalkirky, the, the better the fit is of the, uh, the mathematical equation. When we look at the uh, likelihood ratio of tests, we can see uh, each of our variables here that we've got. In the first column, we've got age, education, prenatal visit, and ethnicity. And if we go across to the sig value, we can see that age, education, and prenatal visit are each significant, which correlates with our discriminant analysis function. But we notice that ethnicity is not significant, not a significant predictor. And then here we get our parameter estimates. And this is the area of multiple, uh, I'm sorry, multinomial logistic regression, which gives you your output, which is where um, things get a little bit complicated. But when we look at our first vaccination shot complete, now our reference is um, our reference value for our dependent variable is actually no shots. So we're trying to see who's actually getting shots. Um, I believe that, no, I'm sorry, we take the last category. So when we look at, when we consider age and we look at the, I'm sorry, when we look at um, age, we see the exponentiated beta, which is in the, towards the far right, we see that it's 1.025, and so for every year increase in age, we have an increase in the odds ratio of someone getting their first vaccination shot. I'm sorry, the, the, our reference was actually no shots, and so as someone gets older, they're more likely to get their first vaccination shot. Education, for every year increase in education, they're 60% more likely to get their first vaccination shot, and we see that for prenatal visit, that the month of their last prenatal visit, there's actually a 27% increase in getting the first vaccination shot. 
um, when we look at ethnicity, which is not significant, it's somewhat all over the board in terms of the odds ratios. For the second vaccination shot, once again, we look at age. And for every year increase in age, we look at a near 27%. This is in the exponentiated beta column. Um, we have a near 27% increase in getting two shots over getting no shots. Education, again, is positively correlated. So every year more, there's a near 68% increase in getting two shots versus no shots. And then same with the prenatal visit, we get about a 43% increase. And once again, ethnicity doesn't really show to be um, a significant predictor. And to be fully vaccinated, these also are positively correlated. So for age, once again, Every year in age, there's a near 40% increase in getting fully vaccinated. Education was was a little over twofold increase in getting fully vaccinated, and prenatal visit was almost 70% increase. And once again, ethnicity is um, not really a predictor here. And so your the APA write-up for multinomial logistic regression is substantially longer because you have to address each dependent group and each of your predictor variables. However, it's definitely doable. It's just that it's going to be substantially longer than what we saw with discriminant analysis. Um, but once again, you know, the choice between using discriminant analysis and multinomial logistic regression, discriminant analysis, you're looking to see whether or not your independent variables are predictors of your outcome, of your group. Um, with multinomial logistic regression, you're looking more for a mathematical model to explain how um, a participant will wind up in a particular group.